Welcome to Soda Discussions, where we discuss sodas. Mostly Mountain Dew. Soda, it's a Mountain Dew. It's our favorite. Dan loves Mountain Dews. Yep. I, I commented on a Mountain Dew video, actually this one, and I was called a hater by a stranger. Yeah, because I forgot what you said, something like more Mountain Dews, and they were like, hate elsewhere, loser. And then someone else on our YouTube channel said, we need to review Haterade, because that's all I drink. That is, because you hate it all. I think Dan's gonna like this. Okay. I honestly think you do. I tried this for the talk in the YouTube shorts, um, because it's it's in the soda zeitgeist. People Did we are say our names? And I'm Jeff. And I'm Dan. And we've been doing this for almost 50 episodes yeah, now. Yeah, it's been a while. But I'm so excited because look at this guy, Dan. He's a reaper. Mm. See, voodoo, spelled like Well, he has no face. No, he doesn't. He has voodoo for his face. Um, so he could just be a teenager in a hoodie. He could. Now, Dan, have you ever had Mountain Dew voodoo? The no. annual treat. That's a lie because we were doing Talk Me Into our last podcast. I gave you one and you were like, I hate this. Oh. Um, yeah, so every year around this time of year, for the this is the fourth one, they've come out with a mystery flavor. Okay. And it's like mystery candy flavored. So the first year was candy corn. The second year was like fruit chew. So Starburst, because mm. I can't say Starburst. And last year was like fruit explosion, maybe like a gusher, something like that. They're all just like fruity candy. Yeah, that's dumb. So it's kind lemon. of hard to discern that. Give me a baby Ruth soda. Wow, that would be nutty. <laughs> so, Dan, that was very good. I like that. Um, so, you did, you commented on the video. Did you watch it? I did. Do you remember what I said it tastes like? No recollection. Perfect. Because I want to know what you think this tastes like. Probably shit. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Jeff, it's not that little have... bad boy. Yeah. Mm, that reeks. Uh, if you could have any candy, Turn into a soda flavor. What would it be? I would say it has to be something fruity. Why? So maybe I don't. Why would I? Because I already have one, and it's gonna blow you away. What's yours? I want to hear yours so I can laugh at how shitty it is, <laughs> and then tell you mine, and then you'll be like, "That's correct." I'm trying. I don't know. I'm gonna give you a hint. As a candy, not great, but as a soda, it could be absolute fire. Chico sticks. Nope. I don't even know what that is. So it's a little like the inside of a Butterfinger. That's a thing by itself. Yeah, it's okay. like really cheap, shitty candy. Oh no. What's yours? Bit of honey. Okay. Dude, honey, honey soda? soda? Cool. It's not blowing me away. <laughs> it should. That's an awesome idea. That sounds like a great what idea. What about a cowtail? Sweet. What about a cowtail soda? Like a caramel? Like yeah. A creamy with the creamy caramel? in the middle? Yeah, that sounds good. See, because one of my favorite candies, just in general, is just like gummy bears. I just, I love gummy Dude. bears. So that's just Mountain Dew. Shh, shut up. What you're saying is wrong. <laughs> A Three Musketeers candy. You get that chocolate cream from Hosmer's and then you mix it with like a caramel flavor. Okay, do it. And then you can make a straw out of nougat. <laughs> <laughs> or a cow, suck the center out of a cow tail yeah. and use that as a straw. So let's try this, Dan. I've had it, you have it. Let's see what you think this is. The color reminds me of- It's there to trick you. Watered down, this is like pool water. Like it needs pH plus, it needs a shock <laughs> treatment. We're moving, up. We're moving up from pond water to pool water. So one day we'll get to this I wanted regular to say water. watered down, but we're going to say. <laughs> oh, well, let's put some. <laughs> Tommy, take a sip. <laughs> Toast me, Dan. Oh, God. You did not think I was going to like this. I don't know. I like it. I think it's pretty good for Mountain Dew. I think it's good. I don't even know what it tastes like. Just sour is the taste. Okay. Sour what, Dan? I know where you're leading me. It's probably like Sour Patch Kids. Come on, it's gotta be. I don't I don't know if I've ever eaten Sour Patch you know, Kids. I was gonna bring Sour Patch Kids here, but then I was like, with the amount of soda we're drinking, we're just gonna be like taste blind, and then Dan's not gonna wanna eat it anyway, because surely he's had Sour Patch Kids. But it does, it even, I mean, even without the sour part, because first when you sip this, you taste the sweetness, and you're like, this is some kind of like gummy treat. And then the sour hits you. It's like uh, more citric acid. That's all pretty, I taste. It's pretty instantly. Artificial citric acid. Yeah. So here's I the think thing. It's sour patch kids. Even though I'm it's younger delicious. than you, my soul is old enough to be your parent. So uh, you're a sour patch dad? No, I've never had anything like that. I don't eat sugar candies. You've never once in your old life have had a sour patch kid. I don't think so. I would never seek out a sour patch kid. I like chocolates. I like a nice Hershey kiss. 
or even like a Hershey nugget. Like, why did we have to advance beyond that? Isn't chocolate enough? No fruits, dude. Why do you have to gild the lily? Because in the 1950s, right? In my day, you'd eat a spoonful of malt powder and that would be like a wonderful treat. <laughs> no, but like in the 40s and 50s, when tropical fruits first started coming to America, it was like a pineapple was like an event. You'd be like, I got a pineapple. Yeah. And it was The great. neighbors would like throw a brick through your window with a note on it that says like, keep your pineapples out of our neighborhood. Yeah. Well, those pineapples <laughs> were upside down and there were weird sounds Ooh. coming out of the house. So they were like, what's going on in there? Brick. Um, so yeah, they were, uh, you couldn't often get fruits, so you had to get fruit flavored things. Mm. So that's where the, the fruit, uh, trend picked up. Cause before that, all your candies were like, you're talking about, they're bitter, they're earthy, they're spiced. Chocolate. Chocolate. It was one of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're right. Um, now the new candy trend is sour. Like all kids want to eat like the most sour shit. That's he, not he says good. new, like it hasn't been a thing for the last 30 years. That's new for me. Wow. You really are an old soul. <laughs> I have a cousin that used to, um, and not Jimmy, a different cousin, that used to, um, we know those straws filled with flavored sugar? Yeah. Pixie sticks. He used to snort lines of those. That's borderline insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dan, I only have one Mountain Dew for you to drink today. So I'm glad you hated it because I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> Are you afraid of voodoo? Like real voodoo? There's, that's not a thing. Real voodoo doesn't exist. It does. There's a lot of people who follow voodoo in this world. Okay. Are you disparaging voodooists? You could follow it, but it doesn't mean that it has any effects on the world. It does, because I saw Weekend at Bernie's too, and that's how they I was going to give this a number rating. I actually don't hate it as much as my initial sip. I think I was mostly surprised by it. I'm going to give this like a five. Whoa, more than a three. Yeah, on a Mountain Dew scale, I'll give it a seven. It's a Mountain Dew scale. Okay, what about the soda scale? Like a six. Maybe. Maybe a five. It's good. I, you know, I would drink a bottle every now and then. I might buy another one if I see one. I like the artwork. Mountain Dew kills it with the art. You got to admit that. I'm a big Halloweeny. I love Halloween stuff. I drank a pumpkin spice coffee on the way here. I'm all about the season, guys. Oh. Get you some voodoo. Play a little oh. trick on yourself. <laughs> or if you really want to scare yourself, get some of that Mountain Dew energy. I want a really good drink. Let me drink this. Oh, I was tricked. <laughs> it's not really good. It's a five to six at best. Yeah. Great. Great, Dan. Guys, if you want to watch us drink more Mountain Dew, it's all over this channel. Just like, yeah. subscribe. There's so much of it. Read, you know, that list of suggested videos. You're going to see Mountain Dew in there. I can you almost will. guarantee it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. We drink it so you don't have to. Yeah. Happy Halloween. I said do instead of two. We love you. Give me a little kiss right there. Okay. Give me her pieces of a hot dog and not me. I'm very interested in this. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like Sour Patch Kids. I don't think I've ever really fucked with like a sour soda. How about you? A sour soda? No, not really. I mean... As sour as I'll go is like Sprite, and that's not sour. No, that's not sour at all. But yeah, I, I kind of see where you're going with that. I don't really like sour things. No? I had a sour kid phase where I, yeah, I, I got like the, the sourest candies. Yeah. And I like, it, I forget what they're called. Some like sour. toxic waste or something. Right, right, right. And uh, then I was like, wow, this really sucks. Yeah. And uh, that was the end of it. Mm. So now we're coming back. Yeah, I used to like fuck with warheads and stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Sour Patch Kids. Ooh. Although, if you didn't say that, I don't know if I would have been like, oh, yeah, it's Sour Patch Kids. But, yeah, it definitely tastes like it. It's good. I don't know if I would, like, go to a store and buy it. You know, like yeah, it. no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, drink this. No. Yeah. It's cool for what it is. If you're, like, a 12-year-old and really into your sour phase. If you're still in your sour phase. Yeah. Voodoo. If you're, if you're eating the warheads, yeah, exactly. If you're eating warheads on, a, on, a, on the reg, this is the do for you. God bless you, Mabel. Yeah, she was in a commercial. Get paid for that? Dogs? Oh, no, 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 it was for my job. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. What's the I don't dog know. Race? Yeah, what's the dog race? I don't know. I don't know. It's fine, it, it definitely wouldn't be my go to. I wouldn't, yeah. I wonder who comes up with this shit. <laughs> they gotta have a fucking team of flavor enthusiasts.